We get fascinating results out of it. The, the problem with this type of science is, it's a discovery science. What it does is it points you to things that you have to look at in more depth, and it brings up areas of science that you wouldn't have normally thought about. For instance, we're now thinking in the Memphis lab, thinking much more about the role of wound healing genes in influenza pneumonia. It's something we wouldn't have thought about naturally because we're not thinking in those sort of mechanisms. Uh, so it does throw up new things. It's very, I find it very difficult science, very hard to get stuff written up and get it to a final conclusion because repeating the experiments is horrific and, and the data sets are enormous and, and they have to be worked through very carefully. It can be very slow science, but it can, in the, in the long analysis, analysis it's important. But, but there's no reason we should never think that's going to be sufficient for science. I mean, this is part of science. We should be able to get those data sets. We should be able to put them on the web so people can get them and then never do those experiments again. But of course, that won't happen. But uh, we should be able to. Very expensive, uh, can be very frustrating if you're a small guy in this enterprise, I suspect, but, but important. Yeah.